Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be talking all about confidence, and more specifically, eight things you can wear that will boost your confidence. So we all know confidence is a mental thing, and for the most part, it comes from within, but there are some things you can do outwardly that will just make you feel better, and I think that that often leads to feeling more confident as well. So I know I say it all the time, but look good, feel good is something that I've found to be very true in my life, and I know a lot of you probably feel that way too. So a big part of confidence is the way you choose to represent yourself and included in that is the things you decide to wear. So these are eight things that are going to make you feel super confident if you're someone that's currently struggling. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be in the loop for when I release new content. It helps me out, which in return will help all of you out and I do appreciate it. Number one, we have a crisp t-shirt. So you've heard it here before. I love a guy in a t-shirt with a pair of jeans because it just looks really effortless and relaxed while still looking great. The simplicity of a crisp basic tee just screams that you don't need to be dressed to the nines or covered in designer logos to feel confident. I love a white t-shirt and I think it's just a staple that every guy should have, but there are a ton of other awesome colors out there if you feel like white is not your thing. Make sure it's a well-fitting t-shirt that is crisp, like I said before, with no wrinkles. A poorly fitting t-shirt that needs steamed will probably not have the same effect as a crisp, nice, well-fitting t-shirt would. Number two, we have accessories. So accessories are probably the best way to spice up your outfit and to just add a little bit of personal flair, especially if you're someone that dresses a little bit more basic, a little bit more plain and neutral. Accessories are an awesome way to step up your outfit game. They really do just level up your outfit and make you look cool instantly if you do it right. So I love accessories on a guy. I really love a watch. That's the one that I think I like the most. However, I do also like some rings, a necklace if that's your vibe, Keep it pretty simple. I think there is such thing as overdoing it, um, AKA Johnny Depp. I think less is honestly more when it comes to jewelry. I think sometimes you can overdo it and it has the opposite effect and just makes it look a little bit overdone and like you maybe tried a little bit too hard. So there's a tasteful way to wear jewelry and I think it's an awesome way to add your personal style to an outfit. Think about when you get completely ready and it still kind of feels like you're missing something. You put on that watch, a ring, and you're good to go. It just really is the icing on the cake to a perfect outfit and helps you feel a lot more confident, put together, and ready to go. Number three, we have perfect denim. So personally, I have a hard time finding denim that I love. I think it's one of those things that if you find a good pair, it's okay to spend a little bit more because it is kind of hard to find. I'm sure a lot of you guys struggle with this as well. So when you find that perfect fitting denim, there is truly nothing better. As always, I would recommend dark denim because these are the most versatile. They're very easy to dress up or down. Down. And the versatility aspect of these is kind of also what makes you feel more confident because you can wear these in any situation and feel like you're good to go. And it's really hard to feel overdressed or underdressed in a situation if you're rocking a pair of dark denim. I also think that dark denim is more figure flattering. Dark denim looks good with legitimately everything regardless of the body type that you have. A dark denim, a nice perfect pair of jeans feels like a perfect hair day. You're just unstoppable, ready to go. So if you haven't already, be sure to find yourself a pair of denim that fits you absolutely perfect. Number four, have you ever worn a pair of super uncomfortable shoes? You're walking around in them, you're getting blisters, and it's the worst thing ever. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have, and there's nothing that brings your confidence down more than that. So number four, we have a pair of comfortable but stylish shoes. There are plenty of shoes out there that are as comfortable as they are stylish. So whatever you choose is totally up to you and what works the best for your lifestyle, your outfits, what you wear the most, all of that good stuff. But there's gonna be something out there that looks as good as it feels. Could be a pair of boots, could be a pair of sneakers, whatever floats your boat, totally up to you. Personally, I would recommend a pair of sneakers. I recently just got a pair of the Veja sneakers and they are the best things I've ever put on my feet. They're cute, they're comfortable, they're stylish. They were everything I was looking for in a sneaker without compromising the comfort. That's something that I've struggled with in the past. A shoe is really cute, especially for women, I think, especially if you're wearing heels, things like that. Um, they look very cute, but they hurt your feet and your 
you're miserable halfway through the day. So finding a pair that's just as cute as they are comfortable is super important. Number five, we have sunglasses. So there's just something about sunglasses that give off a very cool guy vibe. I'm not talking about wearing them inside. Of course, you wanna make sure you're in a setting that makes sense. The guy that's wearing glasses inside always just looks kind of off. So make sure you're wearing them in a scene that makes sense for you. But I think sunglasses just can really look great. So it might be just the mystery of not being able to see your whole face, not being able to see your eyes. I think we've all gotten pretty used to wearing masks and having half of our face covered, so maybe sunglasses aren't as cool to you guys as they used to be, but I think a guy wearing sunglasses just automatically looks pretty cool if you pick a good pair. And the reason why I think this makes you feel very confident is because if you're someone that really struggles in social situations, maybe you're not the best at making eye contact, this totally eliminates you from having to do that. And while I think this is a crutch and you should still make an effort towards enhancing your social skills a little bit. This can be a quick, easy fix if you're someone that struggles in these kind of situations. So as silly as it sounds, sunglasses can just make you feel more at ease. They reduce social anxiety. And often when we feel more comfortable, we then feel more confident too. So like I said, the decrease in social anxiety will instantly make you feel more confident than you would be if you didn't have the sunglasses on. Number six is a fragrance. So it's one thing to look good, but if you also smell good, game over. You're gonna look like a million bucks and you're also going to smell like a million bucks. So dynamic duo here, you can't be stopped. A great fragrance just commands confidence. It gets people's attention. It makes you smell good. So just like accessories, a fragrance is kind of the icing on the cake to a great outfit, an awesome look. If you look good and you smell good, you're gonna be feeling great. A fragrance is also a really easy thing for a girl to give you a compliment on. So if you're around a group of girls and you wear a really great fragrance, chances are one of them is going to compliment you on it and get the conversation going. It's just a really easy conversation starter. Number seven is a leather jacket. So a leather jacket is really just a classic. I think this is one of those things that just automatically makes you feel more cool when you put it on. If you have the sunglasses and the leather jacket, you're just gonna look like the baddest boy in town. A leather jacket is just one of those things that is a total classic. They look good on pretty much everyone and there's so many different styles out there to choose from. There's gotta be one out there for you. I don't know about you guys, but any Anytime I put on my leather jacket, I automatically just feel really cool. Um, I think it's because it's something that I don't normally wear, so when I put it on, it just kind of gives off that edgy vibe without being too over the top. And contrary to popular belief here on YouTube, you can wear a leather jacket at any age. The coolest guy I've ever seen wear a leather jacket is around 60. So there is no age where you cannot wear a leather jacket anymore. But if you're someone that feels like a leather jacket is just a little bit too bold for you, you can opt for a less bold option like a flight or a bomber instead of a moto or a biker type jacket. So another pro tip here, if you feel like the black leather jacket is a little bit too bad boy vibes for you, you could opt for a brown instead. I think brown leather jackets look amazing on pretty much anyone and they're definitely a safer option. And last on my list, you knew it was gonna be here, we have the perfect fitting suit. This one is just a total no brainer. I know we aren't really dressing up as much as maybe we used to, especially for someone that doesn't have to go in the office and wear a suit every day like you used to pre-pandemic, but nothing makes you feel like more of a boss than a perfect fitting suit, especially for someone that doesn't wear one all the time. This one is kind of the equivalent of a little black dress for women or getting dressed up for a fancy event. You just always feel really good when you put a little bit of extra effort in and you show up for yourself and a perfect fitting suit makes you feel like a million bucks. So whatever color or pattern you choose is gonna be totally up to you. If you feel like a black, navy, or charcoal is just a little bit too boring for you, I think emerald looks amazing. I've seen a guy wear a rust colored suit that looks amazing. Total 70s vibes, but I absolutely love it. Regardless of what color you choose, the fit, like I've said a million times on this channel, is the most important thing, especially when you're spending money on something like a suit. You're gonna wanna spend the extra money to make sure it fits you absolutely perfect like a glove because there is a huge difference between a suit that doesn't fit you perfect versus a suit that is made for you. So keep this in mind, a $200 suit that fits you perfect is gonna look better than a $2,000 suit that does not fit you at all. So something to consider. So guys, that is all I have for today. If you like this video or found it helpful, 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for when I release new content. At the end of the day, I know confidence is something that all of us struggle with sometimes, but when we show up for ourselves, we make sure that we look good, I really think we feel good too. I know this isn't always the case, but I think that when we show up for ourselves, we put in the effort, we put in the work, I think we automatically just feel a lot better. So something to consider, I know an outfit doesn't make a man, a man makes an outfit. So just something to keep in mind. I do think confidence is a very mental thing. It totally comes from within. However, a great outfit can make you feel great too. And never underestimate the power of putting in the work, showing up for yourself, and being the best version of yourself that you can possibly be because it makes a huge difference. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I've been doing a lot of Q and A's lately and I plan to do a lot more in the future. So if you're someone that has sent me a DM or sent me an email, that's a really great place for me to answer your question. I cannot get to every email, unfortunately, and I cannot get to every DM. I have thousands and thousands I'm not exaggerating, of unread messages to go through. And unfortunately, I'm only one person and I just don't have the capacity to get to them. So as much as I would love to be able to help all of you out and respond to your questions, going through my videos, seeing if you can find uh, an answer to your question there, or going through my Q&A reel, or just asking me a question on my Instagram is probably your best bet. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.